Hey, what's up, guys? Today's Tuesday, September 11th, 2012, and uh, I just received this massive box in the mail. Yes, it's from CyberPowerPC.com. Uh, I've been waiting like two weeks, just around there, th 13, 14 days, for this uh, guy to get here. And I'm really excited, excited about it. And uh, look at this. We got Assembled in USA, which is kind of blurred out because like, the box is kind of dirty, I guess. I don't know. Got some weird black marks on here. Looks good though. There's no massive uh, holes in it, which would make me kind of scared to see what's inside. It looks pretty good, just other than these scuff marks. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited to open this bad boy up and see the computer that is inside. So uh, I'm gonna put this down and hopefully see that just gonna make a quick unboxing video I've seen a whole bunch of these on YouTube because uh, you know I probably want to document this just to make sure everything goes according to plan and uh, that the computer inside is not destroyed I don't want some record of that if it is so yep let's open this guy up Trying to be careful to make sure. Oh, kind of missed it, but going slow just to make sure I don't get the computer inside. All right, there we go. So let me just grab the camera, and uh, we will open this guy up. Uh, I got a number on here. Please read. I just recommend you retain all packaging. Any questions? Cool, cool. All right. And here we go. Inside of the box. Here's your top. This is our invoice with everything we got. Looks pretty good. Everything looks great. The only thing I'm worried about is this Extreme Gear 800 watt power supply. Actually, what? 800 watts? I ordered the 700 watt. Hmm. Well, we're gonna fact check this afterwards because I'm 90% sure I ordered a 700 watt. Huh. That's interesting. All right. Well, that's kind of odd, but yeah, we'll see. We'll, we'll roll with it. Uh, we got some protective foam here. Let's take that off. And let's look at what is inside. So I got the uh, Corsair. No, it's not Corsair. Is it? I'm not, oh, yeah, it is. Oh, cool. Yeah, it is. Corsair Carbide uh, 400R mid tower um, case and the Z77 hard drive. Uh, Aza keyboard. Got some cool foam here. Take that out, but uh, yep, yeah, start lifting these things out. So, here's my motherboard box got a Z77 gigabyte, not sure about all of the specs on it. It looked pretty good on the website, yep, it had ultra durable on there, looks pretty good. Can I pop this thing open? It's in here, stay there. Um, we got some papers. Not sure what the oh warranty. Want to keep that probably. Uh, what is this? A wireless USB adapter. Huh. All right. This also came free with the computer. The Aza Game Mouse had a whole bunch of specs on there, like weight cartridges and stuff. Not sure if that helps gaming. I used to use a regular like Microsoft mouse. So I don't know. We'll see if that's pretty good. And some other things. Just little things to put on the motherboard if I want, I think. Anyways. Alright. Oh, let's see here. We got the gaming keyboard, another AZA. Uh, this came free with the computer. It's I'm not sure if it's an upgrade because um, it was free, but there was one that looked worse in it. It was just like kind of a standard keyboard. And uh, I liked it for its red buttons that's kind of cool so hopefully that works pretty well um yeah 
He's kind of bent here. Not sure how that happened, but yeah. Let's put that down, and we got foam down there, and that is everything. So I'm actually gonna put this down really quick. Just to pull out this bad boy. Oh, this is big, man. Really designed, in and out it says. Can't even get a grip on this. Oh yeah. Okay. So yeah, that is everything in the box. So let's just slide that over there. And it's nice. All right. So uh, here's the box. Uh, 400R uh, carbide mid tower gaming case. Uh, nothing too special on it. I don't even think it has any of those cool, um, you know, like openings on the side that everyone gets with like the neon lights. You know, I just wanted the inside of the computer to be nice. So, yeah. Ooh, it's taped all the way over here, too. Huh. All right, well, they, they don't skimp on the tape on this box. I guess this is where the goods are, though, right? Just going to make a slight incision. Don't want to damage anything inside. Okay, just going slow, come on, what the heck, this, alright, yep, yeah, four layers of tape, it's impossible to cut off, hmm, guess I can go slightly faster here, don't want to make this video boring, more boring than it already is. Okay, so now I'll just show you quickly what it looks like when you first open the box. Um, we got some cool foam on top here, and I know there's foam on the other side because I've seen a few unboxing videos. And uh, from my experience, actually, let's see if I can do this. Everyone usually tips it over and kind of just lets gravity do the work. So let's try that. Let's see if we can. Flip this guy over. Huh. Without destroying it. Boom. Yes. Alright. Cool. Cool. Nothing in the box anymore. This is all we got left. It is the case. This, oh. First of all, we should probably remove this plastic so we can get to the computer. Wow, this thing is pretty large. I looked at all the cases online. Definitely didn't look this big, but you know what? Good airflow is never a bad thing. So, I'm not complaining. And they were actually larger cases, so that's nothing too bad. Alright, let's flip this over. Oh, there we go. Alright, now we just got the case here. Everything looks pretty good. Um, Intel i5. So I guess I'll just tell you guys some things I got in here. Um, I got the Intel i5 3570K CPU. Just uh, wanted to overclock eventually down the road. I'm not one for huge performance, but I'll just make the computer last longer if I can overclock down the road. Got the uh, HD Radeon 7870 graphics card, uh, the Z77 Gigabyte motherboard. And actually, let me try to pop off this side here. So you guys can actually see what is inside rather than me telling you what come here it's not even holding on oh there you go cool just make sure nothing no fans or anything around here I don't want to rip it off while well, it's still there okay wow this looks pretty clean actually um Let's see here. Huh. 
Okay. Um, everything looks to be in order. We got the hard drive and whatnot, uh, optical drives. Uh, we got, I'm not sure what cool, uh, water cooling this was. Um, it was a standard 120 millimeter, which I believe means I don't have to uh, um, change its uh, whatever, you know, water and crop all the time. Oh, I uh, got two sticks of 8 gigabytes uh, DDR3 RAM. Or they're not, it, it's 8 gigabytes combined, I mean, uh, 4 gigabytes a piece. This is what I'm worried about, the Extreme Gear 800 watt uh, power supply. I've heard many things, many horror stories about it being a ticking time bomb. It's going to blow up, destroy my computer. I wouldn't want that to happen. I just got this super nice system. So, yeah, just quickly, uh, the Z77 motherboard uh, water cooling, standard 120 millimeter. Uh, we got the Radeon 7870 graphics card. The Intel i5-3570K is under there. And uh, we got 8 gigabytes of DDR3. And just standard optical drives, you know, USB and all that stuff that comes off that. And a one terabyte hard drive. So yes, I believe after this video I'm going to be replacing this uh, 800 watt power supply. Actually, I'm going to boot it up first though. I think I'm going to make another video for that. But I will boot up this computer with this. But I'm going to change it out because I've heard some serious horror stories. I already ordered another one. Uh, power supply, that is. Just because I want my system to last longer. You know, what's another 50 bucks if it doesn't make me have to buy a whole new one in a year. So yeah, this looks great. Uh, I didn't come with Windows because I already have Windows on my other computers. I'm going to transfer to this one. But anyways, this is what you get when you buy a Sire Power PC. Uh, I can't really give you that great of a review, review yet because I haven't started mine up. But uh, we are going to start this bad boy up and that will be in another video. And we will see how good Cyber Power makes their PCs. So guys, stay tuned and there will probably be a link here. Maybe just check out that next video. And, uh, yeah, we'll keep this unboxing slash booting up slash review going. So, uh, thanks, guys.